Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I am back on the road again, as you can definitely tell from a hotel room and everything. But I saw this today while I was traveling, a post from Ashok Eliswamy, who is the head of Tesla's AI division, their full self-driving and their robotics division. I think they've now just started calling themselves Tesla AI overall, which you can see right here by Tesla AI. Anyway, he's reposting something. I wanna go through the 16 videos. I think it's 16, um, yeah, 16 examples of corner cases that Tesla has found and how they're actually testing for this it's really really cool to see how they're testing for it and also fascinating that i have been involved in the past two years or so with full self-driving with every single one of these corner cases or at least something similar enough so you know you think these cases don't appear that often but actually just in my daily driving around athens which maybe is more dangerous than most places i don't know but anyway i have seen most of these happen so anyway we'll start with the shark's post here he says these tests were motivated motivated by real world events from our customer fleet, which is super cool. So basically, you know, me and other people who are driving are discovering these types of events. And then Tesla is actually going out and testing them, I believe on a closed road course. I think what this is, is a central California, um, like there's like an old military base or something like that, where they have houses and it all looks like regular streets. They used to do DARPA challenges here. I, I think that that's where they're doing these tests. But anyway, I'm not sure if somebody knows, definitely let me know in the comments because I think that's correct, but I might be wrong. Anyway, so they get these real world events from customer fleet from us. We discover these things. And then he says, kudos to our talented and brave validation team to test these difficult and scary corner cases. I, I must say, number one, absolutely, because these people are brave because there are a lot of crazy things that happen. And they could lead to auto accidents and stuff because you can see how close some of these are. People like pull out right in front of the car, all sorts of things like that. But also as beta testers, we have been doing this and, and I have you know been involved in very, very scary situations so it's it's you know it's happened to me in person without it being on a test track but I'm still super glad to see that Tesla's team is testing these things out to make sure that the cars behave properly in those kinds of situations. Anyway, he says the track tests are one of the more than 10 different validation methods for full self-driving. And then he goes on and said, these tests were done on the latest version of full self-driving that's been widely shipped to customers, version 12.5.6.3. I've got that in my Model Y. If you haven't seen my test drive with it, it's up here. Very, very cool. And so it's really interesting to see that this is actually you know, a, a shipped version of the product not some future version this is the same thing that you could be driving yourself right now if you had a tesla with full self-driving and hardware 4 yes not hardware 3 yet <laughs> it's going to i'm calling it trickle down fsd you're going to have to wait for a while to get these advances in full self-driving in hardware 3 cars they'll get there eventually that's what tesla is promising also a big shout out to phil i saw you at uh, we robot it was great to see you and he says you know big thanks to our absolutely amazing validation team and of course whole mars being whole mars had to say so excited for full self-driving 13 which i am too actually for honest the fact but it's interesting because he's always like not good enough right now i want to see the next thing up so anyway pretty funny so now let's take a quick look at these 16 examples i'm going to turn the sound off there really isn't any sound it's just you know turn signals and things like that so you don't hear anything nobody screams or anything but the first one is a car comes out and backs right out into you i'm sure a lot of people have seen this happen this happens in my neighborhood quite often <laughs> people just pull right out into the road and uh, you know you could see the car was very good it actually was excellent at um, slowing down I like these multiple views they start off with an in-car view and then they do an external view so you can see what's going on by the way these cars have sensors on top of them and stuff like that that's not part of the full self-driving suite that's just you know some extra stuff that they can track the cars and stuff but you can see the car does a very good job of slowing down and coming to a stop when the vehicle pulls out into traffic Next one up is peaking occluded. So you can see here that we've got a car that kind of comes out and it just sort of pulls out in front of you. And uh, you know, again, <laughs> maybe Georgia is crazy, but they're, they're, you get these rude drivers all the time. So you can see the car just coming out right there and just cutting you off. So taking the right of way, even though it doesn't have it. If you're like me and misinformation, I bet you feel there aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done we need to. And while it's tough to find time to cook, we all want to eat healthy, delicious meals. What we've discovered is that Factor is the perfect solution for us. With Factor, today's sponsor, forget that last minute trip to the grocery store, the prepping and the cleanup, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. And let me tell you, these are great meals. High quality ingredients, chef prepared to be delicious. Whether you've got special dietary needs, want to go low calorie, or even eat protein plus meals, 
meals with 30 grams of protein or more, you can find delicious foods to fit you and your family's needs shipped right to your door and ready to eat in two minutes. I also really like that Factor offsets 100% of its delivery emissions and uses 100% renewable energy for production, so you can feel good about your food. Factor has amazing cold-pressed juices too, with all natural ingredients like apples, ginger, pineapple, and so much more. They're delicious and so nutritious and I love them. And you can even level up your dining game with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in just two minutes. Treat yourself to premium ingredients like leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. So be sure to head to factor75.com or click the link below and use my code 50 Dr. Know it all to get 50% off plus free shipping on your first Factor box. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video and thank you for watching. Be sure to go to factor75.com and use my code 50 Dr. Know it all to save 50% on your first box. And now let's get back to it. So most of these tests, as you can see, are instances where the other driver is not behaving properly. They're doing things like violating the right of way because this vehicle, the one that's in, that we're in the car right now, that clearly had the right of way, but the other car is taking that right of way from it. So these, you know, these are not instances where the vehicle is is um, making a mistake or anything. These are corner cases where the human drivers are making mistakes and putting the car and the passengers in jeopardy. Next is a left turn cut in, so the car just comes right out and makes a left in front of you. Again, in Georgia, this is super super common. So. Maybe all of the edge cases that they saw were from Georgia drivers, but people do this all the time. They just pull right out in front of you and take a left and you, they're like, well, you're going to slow down for me, I guess, or else it'll be your fault because you'll rear end me. So no big deal. But anyway, you can see how well it's handling these situations. I mean, that car comes out at the last second and just pulls right out in front. And you can also see that these drivers are pretty brave. <laughs> these are these are not situations that you want to be involved in all that often. So the next one is a parallel cutout. You could see that the car uh, here is it's, it's hidden from the other car and it pulls out right in front of that. So I'll go back and let it rewind so it plays from the beginning again. But you will see here that you can't really see the other car and it just decides to pull out right at the last second. So really good job on Tesla's part, on the, on the Ego car's part for slowing down here. And again, this is shipping product right now. So yield for uh, oncoming during overtake. So this is good. This is not anybody doing a bad thing. This is just an overtake situation. So this, you know, this is a corner case. This is not where somebody else is doing something wrong, but it still is necessary that the car negotiates who has the right of way. And the person on the other side of the road had the right of way because of course the car is in front of you as the ego car in this situation. So really good job on Tesla's part for making sure that it doesn't go out in front of folks. So one more time, you can see this, you, you can see the other car coming. This is what I would do as a human being. So really good job, awesome. All right, next up, stop sign right of way violator. So this person just blows through the stop sign. So you can see here, he's slowing down. And as he begins to start up, the other person goes right through the stop sign. So yeah, again, happens a lot. It's it's not that much of a corner case. So now we'll see from a different point of view here that we got the car coming up and as the car comes in, they just violate. So basically, you know, they're waiting for the Tesla to start. So the other person in the, in the other vehicle clearly was waiting to try to create a situation where they went right away. But the car, the gray car, the, the ego car that we're in right now clearly had the right of way and they should have gone first, but the other person violated that. Next up, we've got something that hasn't happened too many times to me, but once in a while, door opening during overtake. So as you go around the car, the person opens the door. So you could see the car like, you know, stopped very, very quickly. Really nice job there, right? It's going around the other vehicle. Actually probably could have gone safely around, but it is safer for it to stop. So that is really good that it was able to do that. Next up is right turn harsh braking. So the person just stops in the road. And again, this is the kind of thing you would think would never happen, but people do this all the time. They just like slow down all of a sudden for no, no reason whatsoever. And then they make a turn or something like that. It could be the possibility of a pedestrian or somebody being there, or, you know, whatever, or the person just got distracted and they're just like stopped and then they're like, oh, right, I should be making a right hand turn. So anyway, this does happen and it's really cool to see how the Tesla is able to brake and avoid that situation. Next up, we've got left turn across path. So the person just goes right in front of you. Woo that is a dangerous move right there. <laughs> I would have been scared as the other guy driving and making that left hand turn because that, that's not exactly the safest thing in the world. But you could see the, the Tesla slowed down very, very early. It did not get in into an emergency situation. So watch this again. You can see the guy turns as soon as he begins to turn, it slows down. It was great. It reacted really, really quickly. And that's the kind of thing you really love to see 
faster reaction times probably than a human being. It's able to be constantly paying attention. As a human, you might not be looking at that other vehicle. You might be thinking about something else or just assuming they're not going to be stupid enough to pull out in front of you. But as they do, you can see the car reacts, I think, even faster than a human. Next is cut out to static cone. So this guy is going to cut around a cone and all of a sudden the cone's there. So the car has to deal with that. So that's really cool that it deals with that. Again, probably wouldn't be a traffic cone normally, but it might be like a tire or a couch that's sitting on the road and the person like suddenly pulls out and all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, I see there's an object in the road and I have to avoid it. Now I can't see clearly enough from here whether it, it clearly must have seen something in its... Um, visualization to know what was going on it, it's a little difficult to see in that small view exactly what it saw but still very cool i mean right so it's able to get around that it's able to react in in real time very very rapidly to a situation where the it i guess a person might have stopped they might have run over that cone or something but the car is able to handle that very very well next up is somebody dropping a cone or again taking the place of a piece of debris or something so they just chuck the cone out the side of the car and the car deals with it it doesn't deal with it quite with as much a plum as it did with the other cone but it was able to do that it was able to react to a very very rapidly changing circumstance where it just saw something and i love the fact that it's this cone is on its side so it's just a piece of debris in the road Again, could be a tire um, misinformation today. She was driving the Cybertruck to Buford and she said a truck like you know, one of their tires exploded while they were driving and a bunch of other people on the road started moving around and everything and the truck was able to like maneuver around a piece of the tire that was in the road that was still bouncing and everything. So this is exactly that sort of situation. You think that this is never going to happen and then it happens and the full self-driving did a great job. So this is, this is really, really good to see how well it's handling this dynamic this dynamically changing sort of situation is very impressive. Next up is a U-turn cut in. So the, the person just suddenly decides to make a U-turn right there, right? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Again, these are brave testers. That is that is a scary situation right there. But you, as mostly the guy in the other car, by the way, because here you got you're exposing your you know driver's side right to that vehicle. But that's really good. It it slowed down, no problem at all. It was able to clearly slow down and handle the situation so that as the other car was making that U-turn, it was able to to uh, you know come to a complete stop and very occluded so it couldn't even see that car till the last possible second so really nice job the way it's handling that sort of circumstance next up we have a high speed cutout to a stationary vehicle so this car is going to pull out of the way and suddenly there will be a stationary car there and you will see right so that's really really good so it's able to handle that like super smoothly without any problem whatsoever and so we'll get the opposite sort of view you can see the car is sitting there and you've got a lead car so it's blocking you can't see through it don't know what's going to happen and then as that car pulls out the car just has like a second to make that decision and you can see that it makes a really really clean it doesn't have to jerk out of the way it just smoothly moves out of the way smoothly moves back excellent excellent job next up one of my favorites high speed harsh braking uh, people do this a lot for some reason again maybe they're going to want to turn or something like that but they'll just slam their brakes on on the highway and suddenly you're like coming to a complete stop in the road so you can see that the car handles this really really well from the other point of view, you'll see they're going pretty darn fast when this guy slams the brakes on. So it's like, er, er, and the car, the red car doesn't really ever get too close to the blue car. It's really, really good. I want to see, I'm going to wait till it spins, so it recycles back again and see what kind of speed we're talking about. A uh, little, I think they're going 60. So I don't, I don't know if that's 60 miles an hour. I think it may be 60 kilometers an hour because it seems awfully, that seems awfully slow for 60, but whatever. So they were going at a very high speed, whether it was 60 kilometers an hour or miles per hour, that's still very, very quick. Next up, high speed stationary child. This is for Dan O'Dowd, I'm sure. So here you can see that it's driving at a very, very high rate of speed. It sees a child far away and it's able to slow down and stop safely for this kid. It's obviously not a real person, obviously. They're not gonna put real children in the way of this, but you can see the car is going very, very rapidly. And I think they put the other car next to it so that it wouldn't be able to go around the child. I think that was what they were doing here was they were blocking the circumstances such that the vehicle had to stop he couldn't try to get around the child but it does a really good job of recognizing the child as 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 a person right so you can see here in the visualization that it recognizes him as a person so it's a really really good job excellent work by the tesla team 
And then finally we have a child actually walking across the road here. So you can see walking, 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 and it slows. And you can see the guys back here filming it, right? So anyway, like really, really good job. Clearly, if it's gonna handle the stationary child, it should be able to handle this, but it does an excellent job of slowing down from a very, very high rate of speed. Again, I think it was going 60. We'll wait till it recycles just to make sure that it actually was going about that fast. So yeah, about 56, 60, so miles per hour, I guess, because we're in the United States. But anyway, you can see that it slows down very effectively for that child and is able to deal with that sort of circumstance. So as you can see from these 16 videos, Tesla is taking these corner cases very, very seriously. They want the safest vehicles on the road. And this testing, this testing from you know consumer fleet data, and again, all of these things have happened to me, except you'd have to replace children with college students Students. And if you replace children with college students, the last two examples of somebody walking out in front of me or somebody just literally standing in the middle of the road, both of those circumstances happen to me probably once a month or something. That's how crazy it is driving around a college town. But anyway, all of these things have happened to me and I have a feeling many of them have happened to you either as a a driver, a personal, you know, doing it yourself or with full self-driving. But it's great to see that Tesla is taking this this seriously and they want all of these, you know, potentially very, very hazardous corner cases to be taken care of as effectively as possible by the vehicle. And they're testing for it and making sure that it's all working. So it's great to see that they're doing testing and validation. And circling back to the beginning, as Ashok said, the track tests are only one of more than 10 different validation methods for full self-driving. So this is only one one of many different kinds of tests that they do to make sure that full self-driving is very, very safe. And I have to say that it feels really, really safe. They're doing a great job. And as Whole Mars said, I too am looking forward to version 13 of the software when supposedly it will get even better. So that will be very exciting indeed. All right, folks, so that was a really interesting review. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did watching what Tesla is doing to test these things. Definitely let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts, whether you've had similar experiences experiences or things that are different and not working as well. I would love to hear that as well. And while you're down there, if you don't mind liking and subscribing, it really helps the channel out. I would love to get to 100,000 subscribers by my birthday, so thank you in advance for helping me to do that. And finally, a big thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out my link and use 50 Dr. Know It All to get 50% off plus free shipping on your first box, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.